Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video today. This is episode number 10 of the Leeds United Crimmer and today we are starting with a game against Blackburn. I do want to point out I've got my new chair as well if any of you are wondering it is the GT Omega Pro Racing chair in red and black. I love it. It's very, very comfortable and it's going to hopefully help us win some games today in this episode. We've got two games. We've got this game away at Blackburn and we have a game at home against Nottingham Forest. And then in the next episode, guys, we're into the January transfer window, which is crazy. So let's go and jump straight on in to this first game. Right, guys, here we go. Game against Blackburn. It's going to be interesting to see how we do here today. It's been a while since we had an episode of the Leeds Crimson. I'm really excited to be back doing it once again. And hopefully we can end off the first half of this season very positively going into the transfer window. And there's going to be a lot of players we can potentially go for as well. Because we do still have about £7 million I think left over from the summer. We've got an early free kick here. Let's whip that into the box. There we go. Good. Um, maybe not. That was a bad start. Cooper. Take the shot. Wow. Liam Cooper I think it is. Our, is it centre back? I think it's centre back. Um, I've got something in my eye. I'm very sorry. Well, oh, that's really painful. Um, Liam Cooper's just scored an absolute belter within like kind of five or six minutes. So that is already 1 0 Leeds United. I actually cannot believe I'm saying that. Oh my god. I didn't say anything, guys, because I didn't actually expect that to happen. But Aya Hanacho has just scored from about 35 yards out. I mean, you can see here, we get the ball, pass it through. Lovely bit of play. And I thought, you know what? Screw it. We'll take the shot. And somehow it's ended up in the back of the net. And it's already 2 0, which is absolutely awesome. Red cut. Maybe we can take a shot here. Oh my god, that was stunning. Out to Taylor. Oh, he's at the bar. We have scored some absolute crackers. We've almost scored a few as well. And Red cut with a pretty poor shot there. Good chance here. Whip one into the box. Oh, Belowski, that is bad. He had a shocker in the last episode. If you haven't watched that, go ahead. Missed a bloody penalty and knocked us out of the Calder 1 Cup. And today... Right, guys. Time to make a few substitutions just to keep the team... Nice and fair. Let's put our normal right back back into the team. I feel really bad. We need to undo that. We've got Berardi just sitting there waiting. Um, we'll bring on Diogora. And we'll bring on Irwin as well. Just to strengthen the team up a little bit. We've obviously coming into the winter break. Well, not a winter break. But coming into January. We've only got four games. One of them being a cup game. So it's not too much of a busy month for us. And I think they're all on the weekends as well. So most of the week we have off anyway. And then we have games on the weekend. So I want to try and keep players... <coughs> excuse me, as, you know, fit as possible, really, throughout the period, and then, obviously, to avoid injuries, if we need to sell anyone on, to make sure they're in good fit state to be sold for the maximum price possible, and all of that kind of good stuff, but Blackburn nearly scored there, let's try and hold on for the last 18 minutes, we should be able to, we are 2-0 up, so, feeling pretty confident, Liam Bridcut here, what can we do with him, turns out the defender, not really any room, managed to spread it through to Kirk, Ihanacho before he goes off, nope, he's not going to do anything with that, that's a good ball. No, it's not. And that is probably going to be the end of the game, guys. Is it? Is it the end of the game? No, this will probably be the final kick of the first game of the episode here. And um, we look to have picked up three points, which is obviously very good indeed. Just really waiting for the ref. There we go. Three points in the bag, guys, yet again. Really pleased with that performance. Good to come back from the game against Liverpool in the last episode. And bounce back with a win. I know we simmed a game before that. But you get the idea. It's nice to just get back into the me playing personally. And getting a win. Rather than simulating a game anyway. Which is absolutely awesome. But we are going to do some player training here today. Hopefully some more of the players can get better and better. Towards the January transfer window. Lewis Cook now to a 72. Which is very nice indeed. Obviously we want our players as high as possible. Because hopefully next season we will be in the Barclays Premier League. And we are going to need... As many good players as possible when we go up into that league. And you can see we are still a long way behind Middlesbrough um, before we go into this game. And uh, da 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 da. Not on Forest. We will actually praise our team. They've been doing really well recently and really proud with the efforts they've been putting in in recent games. You can see we are currently 12 points behind Middlesbrough already and we're only 24 games in. So. They are already kind of running away with it. We've got a game against Forest at home. We are going to go and play that, guys. And then that will be the end of the episode. And in the next episode, we'll kick it off with some transfer action, which is absolutely awesome. Let's go and get into it. I right, Hanacho, chance to go through here. He's gone through. Finish it, son. Why would you take it on your left foot, you absolute dick? That was such a clear opportunity to take it on your right. Wow. That's oh, a good boy over to Dallas. No, it's not because he hasn't got it. Come out to Murphy. Come on, we can get a goal here, guys. I'm feeling confident. That was shocking. But Murphy's won it back. 
What sort of shot was that? Red card, that is a hell of a strike. Wow, that would have been insane if that had gone in. Chance here, Liam Cooper. Lovely bit of play. I Hanacho. Jesus. We're not we're, we've had so many chances. Just none of them are actually going in or going anywhere near to going in, really. It's been a little bit of a frustrating first half of football here. I Hanacho finally 1-0 leads. Been waiting for that for so damn long. And there we go. We are finally 1-0 in front. Get in. Oh, come on. There we go. Murphy is through on goal. Can he score? No, oh my God. Like, literally, you guys have seen. We have had so many chances this game. Why aren't they going in? I just, I just don't know. Lewis Cook, surely. One-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. You're not going to miss. He's not going to miss. 2-0 leads. Finally, we've got a convincing lead with two minutes to go. I think we're good, guys. It's been tough. It's been really one of the toughest games we've played in this series, which surprised me, but the opposition have played incredible. All credit goes to Nottingham Forest, but damn, they have put up a fight, and it's shown because we just have not been able to get past their goalkeeper for most of the day. But it's finally happened. 2-0. It looks like we're getting a win, and that is really all that matters. That's it, guys. Another 2-0 victory. That is the end of the first half of this season. We're now into January where we can start making transfers, which is absolutely awesome. I feel like I'm really far away from the camera as well. But um, that was tough. That was honestly a lot tougher than I had expected. So that was different. But um, you can see we are coming up to the 1st of December. Now, we will stop on the 1st because we don't want to go too far in before the next episode. In the next episode, we'll probably start off with showing you guys a few people that I want to sign. We're going to offer Sylvester here. Obviously, we're going to reject all offers because he is our current goalkeeper, our best goalkeeper we've got. So we might as well keep him, really. Uh, we've got some just some bollocks there. And we're not going to do the press conference. I don't do the press conference every game. So I thought, why not not do it today? And we'll show you the league table. So we are in the FA Cup, obviously, versus Crystal Palace. And that is like still the, the like first rounds. But we are currently two points ahead of QPR and still nine points. Nine bloody points behind Middlesbrough. They have only lost one game this season, but they have drawn seven, same as us. So... They're doing pretty well. They're doing pretty well. They're almost guaranteed to be getting promoted at the rate they're going. And behind us, we've obviously got QPR. Good to get a win against Forest as well because they are nine points behind us. But, you know, we're starting to build a lead on, you know, the, the teams in sixth and fifth and fourth even. So, it's looking good going into the end of the season, guys. But if you have enjoyed this episode, if we can smash over five likes, that would be absolutely awesome if you haven't already. Please do go and subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode very soon. Peace.